Hello, gentle viewers. This is of Indian, welcoming you to a new episode and a new season of Motorsport Manager. Um, in this, uh, in this season, we're gonna see if we can't try to make some progress here. Um, in particular, we're gonna focus pretty heavily on improving the car to the best of our abilities. Now, it's gonna cost us two million dollars for each and every race. And there's 11 races, so we're gonna run out of money, almost guaranteed. But hopefully we'll get some sponsors to help offset that. One of the things I really wish I hadn't done, and if you decide to play your own version of this, think about this very carefully, is spend quite so much money on drivers when our car was still subpar. Um, but, you know, it is what it is, right? Um... I think this might be our last um, season of Motorsport Manager. Just because while I'm still enjoying it, I'm kind of getting the sense that the views aren't what they used to be, and that maybe other people don't like watching it quite as much. And that's totally fine. Um, and I think I might just be about ready to just move on to a new series. But, uh, do share your thoughts in the comments, and I'll remind you at the end of the video. We're running out of people to scout, to be honest with you. That's fine. Um, and just let me know what you guys think about the series, and if you would like to see more. Or if you're just kind of like, eh. Which is fine. Um, because it's kind of some other games coming up that I'd like to go ahead and cover on the channel. But, I'll leave that to you folks who ride me with some quality feedback. Um, this is the first year that we're going to have 11 races on the calendar. Uh, because we've added Rio de Janeiro at the end of the year. So we have 11 races now, not 10. Which doesn't mean we don't invest uh, in new engines, which is what we're focusing on right now. Um, what are we going to have our... We have no parts to design, really. Um... We need new gearboxes pretty badly. Um, we're going to work on improving the suspension and the brakes. And remember, this isn't, you know, oh, everything gets great at the end. It's a procedural process. Procedural process doesn't make any sense. I'd like for these to be roughly balanced. This is good. Um, this way, by the time we have the race... Um, ooh, actually... You're kind of naff at both reliability and performance. You are better at performance. We could do with better mechanics, but part of the reason we're going with them is just to let them develop. Um, cool. So basically, the point I'm trying to make is to still ensure that we have good reliability by the time our parts are ready for the next race. Um, we're not going to worry about the engines because we're going to design two brand spanking new engines, and we'll probably do the same for gearboxes too. Uh, if we look at... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can quit complaining immediately, please. So let's just go ahead and upgrade for right now. Or just proceed for right now. Even the engine's not going to be done? Damn, that's going to take a while to build. Okay. Uh, of course, our engines are shit. Man, my mechanics are fine. I like both of them, and I like the fact they're both developing quite nicely. Okay. Um, right. Let's do it. 
so I might rain. We need a really good engine, which we don't have. Oh dear. I know where we can look. I wonder if you could click on these and it would tell you stuff. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it wants me to buy a build new buildings, which I can't afford right now. Manage car. Here we go. This is what I was looking for. With the ninth best brakes, ninth best suspension. Yeah, we really should be ideally have spent a lot more money improving the car. But don't forget, we also started from ground zero. Everyone else has a bit of a leg up on us, which may mean that it's going to be impossible to win with this team without lots and lots and lots. Of, um, of aid. But we'll see what happens. <laughs> there are no new parts to fit. Black Sea. We've got to spend kind of aggressively to improve the car to have any chance at performing somewhat well this year. Well, practice appears to be sunny. Okay. So right away, Laura here is going to be our second um, feedback driver. Because she could be an even better ra racer than Engelhar, let alone Dembele. And we're going to begin with the last... Uh, we're on Black CF. We'll use this one. Let's remove the older one. Alright. Continue... We're going to go with Super Softs um, for now, although there is there is some level of concern that I have right now. And that level of concern is um, it might rain, in which case working on Super Softs doesn't help. There is some benefit in case you're wondering why you don't send them out always immediately. If you wait till there's more grip on the track, you generally get better times. Handling is good. Right, he's unlocked a level of setup. Let's go ahead and bring him in. And you said the downforce feels great. Good. Uh, yeah, we could basically marginally improve the handling, but we're not even sure which direction to improve it. To go more with oversteer or understeer? Let's try this. Ah, uh, let's get the speed balance back where it was. There we go. And we're going to actually change strategies for her. We're going to go more toward understeer. Sorry, understeer. And see what that accomplishes for us. And away we go. We're watching for any comments all about the hand. Okay. Not working as well. Get back in now. Gear ratios is top speed. Alright. 
So do we, we want more toward understeer, right? Yeah, and that was a bad decision. So now let's gear toward oversteer. Like right there, maybe. I don't want to make too drastic a change, but yeah. Right, out you go. You again like the gear ratios. Arrow setup is perfect. We already knew both of those. I'm gonna bring him back in because I need to know what he thinks about the steering. He loves the handling. But I think he said that last time, too. Okay, he's pretty much the exact same as he was before. We could try to oversteer a touch more. Okay, it is slightly better. Let's try one more inkling. There's only a minute 53 left, so I don't know how useful this is going to be, but we'll give it the old college try. Yeah, I don't care about your tires being worn, mate. We maxed out on both of those. Nice. I'm going to instantly bring him back in, because I want to know what he thinks about that last change to handling. Okay, you don't like it as well. So then we'll just go with the 97 and just... And we're going to save this one as... <coughs> New Black CF. 97. Now that's for Falco, and I think we've established at this stage that it's different for everyone. Which is whatever. We're definitely going to use his for the race. Oh, Engelhart like snuck out like the second before the race ended. And there we go. Not a great practice from the perspective of we want really good times. But we also don't care because there's no qualifying. Yeah, the fans like it, but who cares? Maybe our strategy wasn't so bad, because it looks like there might not be any rain. I hope there isn't. Because we got really good knowledge on super solves. Yeah, improving wear is actually better, especially if our fuel efficiency is good enough where we can maybe do this with only pitting once. Um... You're going to use this one. It's a 30 lap track. Um, yeah, we'll take two laps out, but there's no way we're pitting only once. Wow, yours was 98? Yeah, by all means use that one then. Damn. Works for you, works for me. Um, and there we go. That's really good. Um, so one of the things I learned through the tooltips, um, you basically want to push your tires until they start overheating, then you want to back off on them. No, no driver mistakes, Engelhart, you idiot. Okay, here comes the safety car. Um, this is so early in the track that slightly better tires won't help yet. Not for him. I will come in and bring her. Because she's already burning through these tires super quick. Okay, holy shit, you're terrible on tires. Yeah, for her it's worthwhile to just 
we're just gonna come back in just to get more uh you can give us a little bit more gas too go ahead and fill up god damn it we screwed up on the tire Yeah, we can't overtake um, the safety cars out there, which is why sometimes it makes sense to pit. I don't want you to pass Angleheart. Uh, go ahead and ease off on the tires, both of you, a bit. Another crash! Holy shit! Another one! Yeah, you're definitely gonna both come in and pit now. Good lord, what is with all the morons on this track today? How are the parts looking? Nothing's bad. And plus he's got the, uh, he doesn't take the dramatic drop in condition. Yeah, go ahead and come on out to fill up. As soon as it's in the garage, you're going to push on your tires. Same with you. Okay, Liao is going to have to come into pit relatively soon. There he goes. Why is she going through tires so quickly? Good lord, Dembele. Yeah, try to conserve your tires a little bit more. Maybe that'll help. I can't keep coming into pit because you jerks keep running through your tires. No, I don't care how low they are. Uh, you can ease off a bit on the tires. I need you to go four more laps, my dude, until your gas is almost empty. Ah, shit, I might have to bring him in. Oh, good lord, yes. Come on in, get new tires. Go ahead and go to sauce so that I don't have to have bring you back in for the rest of the race. Yeah, unfortunately, Angleheart may. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and bring him in too. Oh, no, 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 no. One of his parts looks in real bad. Oh, Lord. I'm not replacing either of those parts. I can't afford it.
I think this is my designer where we get better tires and we just burn through them so damn fast. Well, you can push the fuel a bit. Oh yeah, you definitely need to push on those tires a bit. Which you can now. Shit. Oh, this has been a nightmare for you. Yeah, I'm gonna bring you in. You can fuel up, and yeah, you're gonna replace your engine. It basically means we're gonna basically crater this race, but there's all I can do about that with you. All of our hopes and dreams are now Engelhart. Would you put auto-switching to the damn person doing the pit stop? It's probably setting for that. I'm just too lazy to go check it. Another crash! Holy shit. Like, seriously, just through attrition, we might, like, end up winning the race or something. Shit. Oh, you're getting ready to come in and pit, too. How close are you to pit lane? Not very. How bad is your gear bot engine? Ooh, those are both pretty terrible. I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to take the risk. I'll go ahead and ease off a bit on the fuel, though. You can be super aggressive with the fuel. Come on, Engelhart, you got this. Just don't fuck up. Nope, you only got two more laps, dude. How is your suspension failing? I can't take a chance on you getting hurt. And you're not gonna win anyway. So I'm gonna bring you in to fix your stuff. I don't have any change of tires. Why would I change the tires? They're fine. Sure. Ankle heart, mate. I need you. Uh, crank that gas. Uh... Back off on that gas. I don't want you to coast for the end of the race. Oh, Engelhart, you almost made the fucking podium. Oh well. That was, pr I mean, let's be honest here. We got really lucky with how many people crashed. But that was a damn fine job by Engelhart. Damn fine. Unfortunately, Dem Bellywood had a really good race too, but she just kept having to come in to get stuff fixed. Hopefully we'll keep working on reliability and then that would be very good for us. That was really good for Falco. I was hoping one of the top three would have gotten caught, but he didn't. It's fine. Puts us fourth in the standings. Nice. That was pretty awesome. I can't promise that'll happen again, though. I think we're having some serious issues with the tires, though, because she was burning through those things like they were made out of Swiss cheese. What are my drivers aren't getting better? Oh, because you're out of potential. I see. Okay.
That was really sweet by Engelhart. Ooh, and the engine just got finished. Nice. Let's make another one. Immediately. Why are you uneasy? You're a weirdo, dude. Oh, those are engine parts. I see. I will take extra time to get really good components. I think this is an excellent choice. Alright, how cl Oh, we have to- we can't improve anything until the car is fixed. He'll get there next time. Yeah, we do need to- Oh! Oof! That's our problem right there. That guy sucks. Just straight up fire him. Alright, what position did we need on the pit crew? We need someone who can do fixing and tires. Romini here would be a pretty good choice, it looks like. We'll grab him. Or her? I can't really tell. Not that it matters. Yeah, get that guy in. There we go. Is there anyone who's good at tires and refueling so we can give Zarelli a break? I mean, Lebret's not terrible at it. I guess we could use him just for like one or... What else is he good at? Oh, he'd be a good replacement for one of the Jack crews. There we go. Um, actually, are any of you really good at tires and refueling? You kind of are. So I'm going to swap you with you. And then Lebrat comes in here. There we go. And then Zarelli can have a break. And then next race he'll be in even better shape. Although he is really, really good. Why is your mis- Oh, it's gotta be- How much has this changed the mistake chance? Yeah, basically we won't have any mistakes. I think that's a better choice right now. Until he can recover a bit. Right. I'm not going to fit the new engine just yet. Yeah, reliability on the engines is so dodgy right now. Work on the new engine and then work on this engine. We can't afford to replace those engines again. And then what else is really, really weak right now? I might as well work on improving the engine too. And then yeah, let's work on the gearbox too. Ooh, new sponsors. Yes, please. Okay, effectively, for the rest of the season and most of next season, we get 300 grand every single race. But nothing up front. Here we get a little bit up front, and only a little bit per race. I think this is fine. Because I don't think we're going to unlock level 4 sponsors anytime soon. Hopefully we'll get a new uh, sponsor there. She got a haircut, which has improved her marketability. Oh, it even changed her picture. I like that. That's a nice little move there. 
Alright, we gotta hope that we can really work on these engines. It's Falco's birthday. Let's throw him a big birthday bash. Okay, we got some more sponsor choices now. Good. Oh, I see the advantage of this one. It's shorter. That's a lot of money. I'm going to take the 200 grand up front, though. That's only for six races. I think that's fine for right now. complaining about? Why won't you let me continue? Oh, because it's a stupid race is happening. Okay. Not gonna design the new fit the new part. Reliability is a lot better on this one, but let's start cranking up the new engines reliability. Yeah, we could have done better with the tire heating. That's reasonable. That guy's a pay driver, which means he actually pays us. Interesting. She's decent at everything but focus. You're kind of all over the thing here. bring Andre Gomez back, but we're not. We're just scouting random people at this point. There we go. You're probably a little bit concerned with the amount I've been spending. I'll just bug you for more money if I need it. <gasps> what the shit? She just randomly retired on me. Uh, promote. Find a new driver. Um, who's the one that was the pay driver? I just got an email about him. I didn't even notice that. my scouting emails. I want that pay driver. Pay drivers basically mean they pay us. Here it is. Guillermo Almeida. As a reserve driver, there's a lot worse. Should 
sure, let's offer him literally the bare minimum. You're gonna be a reserve driver. Uh, race and collab practice should be nice and clear. All right. Is the new engine worth fitting? Yes. And then go boop, boop, which actually make your engine better. Ooh, let's, let's roll the dice a bit <laughs> and give him the slightly dodgier but way better engine. I don't care if we're unhappy with your setup. You can just deal with it, mate. I'm hoping this new engine makes a big difference, but I can't promise that it will. This is Munich, but which load, which layout? B. Like, let's be honest, we can't really expect to see... Oh shit, I screwed up, I gave him a Milan layout set up. Yeah, here we go, Munich B. I like the performance boost of the tires, but man, we're we'll chewing through those tires quickly. How'd she go? Gear ratios, good. Okay, you want more downforce, so go ahead and come on in. And you come in too. Okay, more downforce. Alright, well we know what the issue is then. With the setup. You said you wanted more downforce. So then we want to increase it up to high. And then let's adjust the gear ratios. There we go. That seems good. Out you go. You're even less enthusiastic about the downforce ratio. Oh, we gotta adjust your handling too. That's what practice is for, though. Okay, he likes the arrow way better. Let's bring him in. His handling could be better, but this is already... We're getting pretty close to... Yeah, we got 90%. Now. 
This may be just more toward understeering. That's going to be the only change I make. And we'll see if it changes his race and abilities. Let's go ahead and bring you in. You really still don't like that downforce, though. We might actually use years. We'll see, though. She's even happier with the arrow now. I'm gonna actually use her setup. Her seems like it's a much better fit for the car. I agree, our colors are better, aren't they, Laura? Because she doesn't have, um... Okay, what is your total setup? 94. There's so much to be gained by just pushing that just a tiny bit more. Pretty good too, though. I'll just leave yours as is. How long do you get out of these? 10 to 12 laps, so yeah, this is a reasonable strategy. So we only need to pit, so we can only pit twice. Oh wow, have we fallen far behind as Engelhart? Let's give him a little bit more gas. Let's we'll see if we can overtake a couple of people. Nah, it's not worth it then. We'll just have to hope that he gets a better treasure when he pits. You gotta give me more laps, unfortunately. Yeah, if you can both put in like 10 laps, that'd be amazing. I'm just gonna treat Engelhard as kind of a lost cause right now. Ooh, you're in single digit wear. I'm gonna bring you in early. Shiny new tires. Parts look pretty good. Suspension could use some work. That's fine. And then Engelhart, you're gonna swap when you get back over.
And your parts are also pretty much fine. I just conserve fuel so you don't run out. Yeah, we're not getting nearly as lucky as we did on the other track. But you can go and push the fuel a bit more. Push the tires. I like that he's setting personal best, but it doesn't matter because he's still like a mile behind everyone else. How are your tires worn? Okay, we must have done something seriously wrong when we were setting up this new car because we're just burning through tires. Oh shit, she just passed and her tires are almost gone now. You can go ahead and come in too. We'll give him a little bit more gas so that he can push things if he wants to. No, you cannot attack when you have almost no freaking tires. I don't think we're going to do that well. I mean, a couple of useful pits might help us a little bit, but I don't know, guys. I think gearbox is the other thing we need to work on. Now that we have two new engines, I think we need to start designing new gearboxes. Uh, go ahead and go into overtake mode. You can reduce the tire wear by just backing off a bit on them. It'd be awesome if we could get to 12, but I don't think that's going to happen. And then we'll cut you back down the again. Yeah, with a bit of luck, we could have maybe gotten 12 there. We were close. Our tire wear is terrible, though. I think it might just be the way we did the car. Could really use some help on tire wear. See, maybe we need to experiment more with the different tire types. I think that might be a useful strategy. Maybe.
so close. One of you jerks couldn't have gotten caught with a bad part. Uh, he, he's going to drop a bit. We're still 7th overall, though. You know what, Angelo? I'm going to delete you. I'm going to block you on whatever Motorsport Manager's equivalent of Twitter is. That's good. Her focus is going to be a consistent issue with her, I think. Hey, getting rid of Dembele had at least one positive sign. Our bracing is way cheaper now. And she did just randomly retire without... I guess I had warning and I just wasn't paying attention to it, so I suppose that's on me. Yeah. Yeah, I know our pit crew could have been a bit better. You're just so bad at everything. I just want to fire you. Go away. Any new pit crew? Uh, it's good to have a good backup on the right jack, I guess. A rear jack. I don't know why I said right. Let's go ahead and put him in. That should help a bit with our pit crew times. All right, I'm good with this. Uh, there's really no reason not to swap them out and let him have a bit of a break, because they're equally as good. I wonder if pit crew get better. I don't think they do. All right, let's work on gearboxes. That's the other thing we've got to try to get improved. This will be ready faster. But that increases your max performance quite a bit. Let's go with that. Keep working on all of these. Oh, we're about to get new gearboxes, so drop those and work on the suspensions. Because we keep having issues with that. There we go. car in the grid. Our headquarters is, are pretty crap, too. There we go.
So if he takes part in the race, we'll get 130 grand, which basically makes him free. That's good to know. Fuel efficiency could be better. All right, let's immediately go to design a new gearbox. And that'll be the last major part we work on. I could make another great engine, actually. Oh, I see what this is. Interesting, okay. Well, max acceleration. This is good. Go ahead and get to work on that. Yeah, we're not going to push this gearbox. We're going to wait until we've improved everything else first. Because I don't want to put a part without enough reliability on it. That's just kind of suicide. You're probably still a little bit peeved with me. I'll just bug you for more money if I need it. It's fine. There's a new vote. Removal of the Black Sea GP. I'm going to go ahead and abstain. Because I don't really have a strong opinion about this. Wow, nobody liked that and likes that race. Okay. Let's go to Beijing, guys. Man, screw you, David. Never even been in Beijing before. Oh no, yeah, we have. Uh, chance of rain. Okay. 38 laps, that's gonna be two almost certainly. Uh, we've significantly reduced expenses. I'm pretty happy about that. Can I make your experience any better? I mean, I could always give you the really dodgy um, wing or gearbox. I don't think you'd like me very much if I did, though. Oh, you know what I think it is? I think we're saying we don't have the best car. I think they're saying we don't have the best chassis. If that's the case, that's a very long process to fix. I assumed it was parts. But it might be chassis. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to put him in just so we get the bonus cash right now. I don't know. Have we done... No, Beijing wasn't the new race, was it? Uh, we are on track E, so we'll try this one. Oh, hang on. Um...
Let's try that. Hearing is good. So let's bring him back in. Wow, he pretty much thinks this is the greatest thing I've ever done. Yeah, I'm not going to change this. We're just going to call this New Beijing 98. And then, yeah, you're just going to go out for a really long stint. And you're done. Um, you can have new tires. Be aggressive. I'm setting a bunch of personal bus, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't care if you come back out though. You did what you're supposed to do, which just make me slightly more money. Aw oh, man, he was working seven, you jerks. Okay, it's gonna rain. Which is fine. How bad is it? Oh, yeah, these are wets all day long. You can auto-pick that if you want to. Uh, no, I want you to push it to the limit. Because we're not going to be using softs. We're going to be using wets. And then I would like you to use... Falco's 98. We don't need multiple for each one. There we go. Oh, let's check your fuel. Yeah, that's fine. These will take, they'll have, they have a lot more wear and we'll have to push them pretty hard. Valinia. Now, our big advantage here might be if other people start crashing, which they very well might. Do I want her to let him through? Yes. Yeah, if he gets back on you again, that's what to do.
No. Okay, strategy is we're going to change this off. <gasps> no! Engelhart, you monster. Damn it, now you're probably going to get injured. Okay. Alright, I'm going to bring you back in for softs. Where are you right now? You're actually first. Sorry, I'm going to bring you in for softs. Maybe mediums, actually. Because right now, we'd have to come back twice for tires. Yeah, let's actually go for mediums. Let's do it. Why would you think I'd want to be focused on Engelhart, who I can literally do nothing about? Yep, people are starting to pit now. That was my hope. Yep, everyone's gonna pass her. She's on mediums. Because she's frankly just not as good a racer as some of these others. Let's push the gas a bit more. Warm tires. I definitely need you to be... Ignore. If you can give me one more lap, Foligno, I will happily bring you into pit. Alright. Um, how long would it take you to replace your brakes? About nine seconds. It's, uh, no. We're fine. Oh, this tells us the setup opinion here. I never noticed that. Cool. I can't have you come back in for enters. That was my own fault. I didn't pay attention. Alright, you're already in pretty bad shape. Let's go ahead and bring you in for enters. And the really cool part is we're going to push the shit out of both. We're going to push the shit out of these tires. Not that it's going to matter. I'm way too far behind number 15. Oh, but Andre Sabato just dropped out of the race. Which means I'll be guaranteed 15th. Go ahead and push the fuel too. I 
Okay. No, pushing the tires is fine. There's no reason not to. Eh, 15th could have been better. Losing Angle Hard was really bad, and I hope he's not injured. It'd be kind of a terrible way to end this episode. God damn it, Angle Hard. Yes, I know I'm fine. Oh, thank you, Maria. That's, that's very nice of you. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting the scouting center, but it's not something we can afford right now. I need to work on improving the cars to the best of my ability. But his fitness goes into the toilet. Oh, he didn't get injured. I guess that's something. Basically, he turned out to be free. That's good. So the first two races out of the season, uh, we are currently the number 10. How did we fall back to 10 so quickly? Damn. That's a downer. We were doing really great there for a while, but yeah, we just went... Uh, but we're still very much in the race um, for at least a top seven finish. Uh, we'll have to hope for better results in Tondila in Portugal. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, it's always good to see uh, people comment, liking, and subscribing. Um, as I noted earlier in the episode, it's really important in the next couple of uh, episodes that people make their opinions felt about the series. Because we'll probably end the series after three seasons unless someone has just a really huge desire to see more. Because we're kind of so far behind the eight ball, I don't see that changing anytime soon. Just because of the way the game is structured. It seems like it's really, really hard if you're not at least an average team to push to be better. Now maybe I'll I'll uh, I'll discover something else and, and we can make some changes and hopefully see things turn out better. But it seems like we're looking at, at least five to ten seasons of just mediocrity, um, which is what it is. Um, but that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Um, and until next time, this has been Indian, and I bid you good day.